Hey guys, it's Justin here from Sloth Construction. I'm taking a quick pause from home building today because I have a really exciting tool that I want to share with you all. And what that is, it is the Maka All-in-One Pro Measuring Tool. And this little device here has six different functions that it com combines into one handy little tool. So what I'm going to show today, give a little review on it. I'm going to go over what comes in the box, all the features, and then we can go out and test all those features and see if it actually does what it says it's going to do. So before I get into the details, I kind of want to go over it real quick, just what the uh, basic functions are. So it has six different functions. The first one is a seven in one laser measuring tool, it has a stud finder, it has a thermal imaging camera, it has a moisture meter, it has a laser level, and an AC detector. So that's what you get in this little handy device here. So let's go ahead and see what you get in the box. All right, let's see what we get in the box here. Unboxing here. Inside is a really nice carrying case for the, for the tool. And open up inside. You have your uh, instruction manual there. And the charging cable, which is a uh, USB-C. And also in here, we have a little uh, extension rod here to connect to the tool there. And that also connects to this one here, which is the tripod. And a little three-leg tripod there. Uh, under the strap here, this is the thermal imaging camera that comes with it. And then under a second uh, protective case here, a little flap here, is the actual tool. So first impressions of the tool when it comes out of the box. Um, it's not too light, not too heavy, feels pretty durable. Doesn't feel really cheap at all. Uh, one of the things I noticed on here, on the back where the uh, uh, stud finder sensor is, they put these nice little felt pads on there, so you're not rubbing the paint off your walls. Uh, that's definitely something I can appreciate there. I have uh, top here all the uh, laser sensors. Uh, has a also a little little flashlight button on there for a flashlight. Uh, under this little little pocket right there, that's where you uh, plug in the thermal camera or you can plug in the uh, USB-C charger, charger uh, to either one of those ports. Doesn't matter which one it is, uh, it'll, both ports will charge the unit there. Uh, clip this little button out there, that's for your AC detector. And got another little button on the back here. That one, pop that open and your moisture meter will come out of there. And snaps right back in. Yeah, so far it seems like a real, real nice unit. Uh, just press that middle button, that turns it on, and you can scroll through the functions with the little, little buttons down here. Or if you like, it's also a touch screen, which is very nice too. Go through some of your settings there. Yeah, the touch screen seems real nice, real responsive. Go into the settings there. Yeah, overall, looks like a real nice uh, little unit. With the tripod there, it's a nice metal, sturdy tripod. Has nice little rubber feet on the bottom, so it's not gonna slip. And your extension here, twist that. Uh, I'd say that probably goes about maybe 24 inches extending. And of course, the little camera there. I'll show you that one when I'm doing the functions of it. And USB-C cable. And the uh, instructions are actually very, very well written and easy to read. So that's kind of uh, what you get in the box there. So let's go on to the exciting part and see all, test out all the functions of this unit here.
So let's take a quick look at the menu here. On the device there, zoom a little bit more, you get the distance measure. You can scan for metal, scan for wood beams, scan for AC. You can use the little button there if you want to scroll through those. Uh, horizontal measure, the laser line, moisture meter, and then you get in your function menu there. And then also once you get your thermal camera out of there, you just open up the little door on the side. And put your camera right in there. Snaps in. And you see when you do that, a third menu uh, button will pop up. And that brings you to the thermal camera. And also in the uh, functions here, if these are kind of uh, small letters to read in the functions, of course here you can see that meters or feet. You go down to sound. And with that sound, It'll actually uh, uh, tell you what the uh, menus are. Let's go back there. So you what laser line. Moisture measure. Laser line. Horizontal measure. But for this laser video, line. Moisture measure. I don't Function. need it uh, talking to us every Menu. every time we push a button. So. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to turn that off. Because uh, my eyes are good enough to read that. But anyways, that's the uh, functions we have on there. So let's go try them out. Let's go ahead and uh, first test out the distance measure. So this is a, a 7 to 1 distance measure. I'll let you read through these ones. Single measure, you can do a constant measure. You can do addition measure, subtraction measure area measure. So with the area measure, you can measure two different walls and it'll tell you the uh, the area in there. Volumetric, you can uh, measure your, your, your two walls and then to the uh, ceiling, it'll tell you how many square or cubic feet are in your area there. And more of these uh, angles there. And then if you do a measurement and you forget what it was, you got your historic record in there. So let's go see how accurate it is. All right, so I'm gonna start this off by first doing the, the single measure. So I'll just push on the single measure and I have it set there right at eight feet. I have it here just on a level table and see what it says. I'll push the button down. And here we go about Seven feet, eleven, seven eighths. Maybe that's about what it is. We'll go back to eight feet. Let's see what we get again. Yeah, so we're getting eight feet. I moved it back just a little bit. Back of the instrument is at eight feet, and tape measure is at eight feet. So I would call that pretty accurate. All right, so we can go ahead and test out this uh, constant measure mode there. Put it once there, and then uh, yeah, it just does constant measure. Just whatever you're aiming it at there. Yeah, I'd say that's probably about four feet, one inches away. Definitely a very useful feature in this one. So let's uh, move on to some of the other ones. All right, next function. Let's go ahead and try out the stud finder. Uh, it scans for metal, scans for wood beams. I don't have any metal on my wall, so we'll go ahead and scan for wood beams or the studs in the wall. Up there, loading up. And let's see what what we find in here. I know there's a stud somewhere in here. Uh, maybe in there. Getting closer. Probably went a little too far. So it senses there's something in there. Maybe I'm just not right on the center yet.
Okay, so I did finally find the stud in there. Seems like maybe it's a little, little hit and miss on the stud finder, but it still did find the stud in there eventually. And we see it there, but a little hard to find there on the camera, but it, it does actually uh, show a little image of a piece of wood there for the stud. And it says there's another one in there. Didn't find it the first time. Uh, maybe some power cables behind the wall there. Yep, so it's picking up the cables behind the wall there. And I built this house, so I know there are actually cables behind the wall there where it says. So, set finder, it works, but not great. Now coming back this way, just find studs everywhere. All right, let's go ahead and scan for AC to do that. Uh, you press on that one and a little blinky thing there means that on the side you push that down that puts out the little measuring tool there come to outlet make sure that your power is on or off when you work on your house see there blinky red that means it has power and it has the sensitivity on there or high or low closer to power and you can see that changing so that one works I like it on the next function all right next neat little feature here is a horizontal measure that one is that one right there and it I think it's just something real quick you can put your put the tool down on a flat surface and just see if it's level or not I just uh, level it on this little tripod here and it's, it's pretty good there that's pretty level but going back to the main menu there, we have the laser line. So pushing that one, that's why I got the little tripod, made it level, pretty level. But then that puts out the nice uh, cross level laser on your wall there. I think that'd be a real, real useful thing. Uh, if you're hanging up uh, maybe like, like pictures in your wall. Uh, for me, I'd probably use that for either hanging up tile or it'd be really useful for putting on cabinets, having this laser line on the wall. I don't know where my cabinets are gonna go. So that's a nice feature there and it seems to work pretty well. And the next useful feature on this one is the moisture meter. Where's in that one? And to get your meter out, let's go to the back there. Push your button, meter comes out. Put it right back in and then you're good to go to start measuring some uh, moisture so let's go find something so i've got the moisture meter out here uh something i'd use this for probably is looking around the uh, like doors windows any kind of leaks that might be coming in your drywall is going to be a little bit wet um, another real good thing is uh in your bathroom sometimes you might have a toilet leak and you wouldn't notice that so you can come to your you drywall there to get a little bit okay that's 8.5 so that's dry there you can see if maybe the toilet's leaking you can go back there like oh no got some wet drywall 35 percent so that would probably tell you maybe you have some kind of leak in your wall maybe there's a leak in your toilet that is uh going up your drywall there uh, for me it's not actually leaking i just spray some water there just to do a little demonstration on the tool there so the thermal camera I think that's probably one of my favorite features of this uh, device here and uh, I just went ahead and showed you the moisture meter and sprayed a little little wet water behind the toilet there and if you're do, using this uh, this tool for uh, kind of inspections and you know some uh, moisture behind the toilet this is kind of what it looked like like a nice cold spot which is an uh, indicator of water uh, behind the toilet there so then you would probably know that you have uh, a leak there behind the toilet so that's what that would look like uh, let's go and try it out on a few other things so let's just look at my fridge and just another way to uh, kind of test it out you can uh, 
turn the uh, thermal imaging off so you just have a, a, a picture. And you can kind of scroll down and go through the different uh, heat settings. So uh, a lot of heat coming out of the fridge right there. And then um, you can kind of adjust it a little bit more so you have more of the image in the back. So you can see what you're looking at there. And yeah, just going through all the uh, all the heat levels there. And there you go, guys. That was the Maka All-in-One Pro Measuring Tool. I hope you enjoyed my little review of it. It's uh, definitely a really handy tool. Um, has a lot of great uses. They market it as a renovation tool, but it has uh, way more uses than just that. Uh, inspectors can use it, homeowners, renters, uh, builders, just uh, all the features it has in there. It's just a really great tool for anyone that has a house or even lives in a house or any kind of inspections. But yeah, really useful tool. Uh, the laser level, that was that was great, that worked. Thermal camera, that's a really nice inspection tool. Moisture meter, great inspection tool. AC detector, that's a great tool to have. Stud detector, that was a little hit and miss, but it still worked out okay. Uh, the 701 laser measuring tool, that was accurate, has a lot of different uses um, that I can think of. And uh, you'll definitely see me use this in my uh, uh, future videos on my house building uh, projects. This has a lot of different features. But anyways guys, if you are interested in getting one of these for yourself or uh, for a friend or family, they have a, a Kickstarter program that's starting off real soon, maybe even today or uh, next couple days. I'll leave the link in the description below in case you're interested in getting one of these. And then the uh, final product is coming out in December of 2023. So yeah, look for these soon and you'll see this more in my future videos. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and I will see you back here for the next one.